so you heard about all the money you can make selling digital products online. But you have no idea how to start. Keep watching. Hey, hey, and welcome to my teacher fam. You are in the right place if you are learning how to create digital resources. And today we are going to make a drag and drop activity using Google Slides. So whether you're a newbie or even have some experience under your belt, I will put in some shortcuts in here to help you create even easier and faster. And you'll see the entire process from start to finish. So make sure you stay tuned until the end because I do have some goodies waiting for you. And you'll also see how to use this template in different ways and give you great ideas. All right, so let's get started. So here we are in Google Slides. To select everything, I'm holding down Control A, then pressing Delete on the keyboard. I'm going to add a colorful outdoor background from Rainbow Sprinkle Studio, and you can find her clip art on TPT. So just so you know, I am winging this activity at the moment to show you a pr true process of how I work. Designing a great resource doesn't happen right away and you make changes as you go. I get a lot of my inspiration from seeing the clip art and putting things together on the um, on a blank canvas if I don't really have a clear idea of what I'm going to make. Usually I do know what I'm going to make, but for this process, we're just winging it. Um, there's also a folder with some extra clip art in this download, so I'm going to insert those these uh, two houses that I've seen, and I'm starting to get an idea of different activities I can make now. As far as our drag and drop elements, it's really important that you're using clip art with a movable license. Some artists on TPT offer bundles of movable clip art or even an extended license, which allows you to use their clip art commercially. So here I am in TPT. You can search this by typing movable clip art. And here's all the options that begin to show up. Another route you can go is creating your own shape in Google Slides to move around on the page. That's what I'm going to do. So I started with the shape of the sun. You can edit the lines to make them thicker and change the colors. And then I actually got an idea to use an arrow as the pointer. So now I'm just moving these off the screen so I can continue working on the background. I thought of making a phonics activity. One thing about Google is it does not allow you to import your own fonts. So we have to improvise. There are better fonts that you can find by clicking on um, this button, more fonts. You can browse the list, sort by trending, or find different styles.
I'm creating this activity for first graders or maybe even kindergarten age. So I'm looking for a young, fun, handwriting style font. It's important for you to also consider the audience you create for as well when picking your fonts and your images. So the fonts that I have in blue are ones that I've already selected. If you see any other fonts that you like, you can just click on their names and it will highlight in blue as well. And it will start adding to your list of fonts here on the right. So when you have all the ones that you like, click OK, and they'll be available here in your font list now. So I've decided on one of my favorite fonts, Happy Monkey. And the first activity I thought of is for the students to distinguish between uh, beginning digraph sounds. So I'm going to have digraph sh on this house. Then to duplicate the text, I'm pressing control and D. And once I have a good idea of where I'm going with this, um, now I can get my clip art again. And um, I have found these alphabet pictures. They're from Sticky Foot Studio on TPT. And I found a picture of a strawberry. So like I said, I am winging this. So I'm just going to change that SK digraph to ST. Now the student can use the arrow to point to the house with the be correct beginning digraph. So what I have here is the template of my activity. I'm happy with it, so I'm going to duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl and D. So I was ready to change the picture of the strawberry and make another page, but then I saw this cat clip art and thought of another reading activity. So with this one, the student can choose the correct CVC word to match the picture. Now I'm just resizing everything and changing the fonts, well, changing the text so that it matches the activity. All right, so once you're officially happy with your activity and you know where you wanna go, now you can see that these elements in the background are still clickable, so it's time to lock down the slide. At the top, I will click File, Download, PNG Image. Then I add in a blank slide, click on Background, and choose the image I just saved. Then you can test it out to see that nothing can move there. So I will copy and paste the pointer here for the student to move about. And then I'm also going to add in directions. So directions are great for the teacher, but also save them some time and make the directions on the page for the student as well. Um, Y'all, I was stumbling over this one though. <laughs> it seemed so wordy. And if you have any suggestions on how I can explain this activity better, um, please feel free to comment below. And now I'm going back to the editable slide because once you've decided on the layout of your activity, as I said before, this can act as a template. So we can now just change the words and the image really quickly. When I right click on the cat, I'm going to press replace image. This button also shows up in the toolbar once the picture is selected instead of having to right click. So now I can change the picture to another CVC word like um, maybe this bus and watch what happens 
It takes the same shape and size of the previous image and when you try to make it bigger it just stretches. The trick is for you to double click and you will see this. Now you can crop the shape and you're, so you're able to see the entire image. Then you can change the words and finally we're just going to follow the same steps as before. So download this as a PNG image. Then you can duplicate the slide. And last, change the background to the image that you saved. So you can go ahead and create as many of these slides as you'd like and get it done quickly. I'm thinking this can be made into a math activity as well. Maybe the houses can have different addition equations and the student needs to find a home for the number five. You can even think about ways to differentiate by adding in another house so that the students have three options to choose from rather than two. Or once they've mastered single digit, they can move on to double digit. When students master CVC words, they can try beginning blends. So I'd love to see how you would use this template. Guess what? I'm going to send this background template to my TPT squad. So if you're not on my email list, make sure you sign up. I will leave a link in the description box below. And you can also sign up to receive my free ebook if you haven't seen that already. It gives you great tips about how I got started making money with only 10 followers on the TPT site and less than 250 on Instagram. So no, you do not need a bunch of followers to start making money on TPT. I also wore this shirt because it's so appropriate. Remember to give yourself a raise, teachers, and this is from Go Ahead Teach. If you found this video to be helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see on my page. This just helps me to get my content out there to more viewers, so all of the love is much appreciated. See you next time.